The northwestern United States seemed like a great place to start a new life for Shilan Zhao and her young son Jonathan when they moved here more than half a dozen years ago. She came over to the United States, like many people do, seeking a better life for her children. But federal court records filed in Los Angeles paint a different picture. Her husband, Jianjun Chiao, was the director of a major grain reserve in China. The Chinese government provided millions of RMB that was supposed to be used to help farmers buy grain. Instead, U.S. court records allege Chow siphoned off millions and millions of RMB and then shipped it to his Canadian bank account. The indictment makes it clear that Chinese authorities are going after Jianjun Xiao, also known as Feng Li, accusing him of stealing money, international transportation of stolen money, and money laundering. But since no one knows where he is, U.S. authorities are helping in the prosecution of his wife, Xilan Jiao, something her attorney calls surprising. U.S. law enforcement officers have traveled to China to work with investigators in the Henan province as they work to build a case against Chao and Zhao. Zhao's defense attorney believes with the high-profile U.S. visit of Chinese President Xi, American law enforcement officials are cooperating with China out of a show of good faith, pointing out the U.S. does not have an extradition treaty with China. But a former U.S. federal prosecutor says... This is not a case of the United States trying to curry favors. In the U.S. system, if one is convicted of um, a money laundering offense or an immigration fraud offense, that deprives the individual of certain protections that that person might otherwise have. Chiao is also considered among China's top 100 most wanted. And court records allege Chiao and Zhao got divorced in 2001 meaning she lied on immigration papers to get into the United States. But Zhao's attorney is not swayed by the information. My concern is that they'd be very, very eager to help the Chinese government and that the evidence given to them by the Chinese government is not going to be accurate. But one thing is crystal clear. China and the U.S. will be working much closer together to make sure Chinese nationals accused of crimes will not find safe refuge in the United States. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Seattle, Washington.